we were all pleasantly surprised with the choice of the national security team, a group of uh, uh, people who are who have been engaged in the region, know the region well, and many of us in the region know them well. I'm not sure that I'm surprised, but uh, I believe that there is a feeling in the Middle East, and of course here in Israel, there is a great change in the U.S. policy. In the last eight years, we witnessed uh, disengagement from the Middle East, in a way, uh, and the vacuum has been filled by rogue elements like Iran, uh, ISIS, uh, Muslim Brotherhood, as well as Russia intervention in, uh, in, in Syria. And what we have witnessed now is uh, the decision to associate with Israel and with the Sunni Arab camp rather than with Iran. The first uh, 100 uh, days have actually brought a, a pleasant surprise in that uh, the president engaged almost immediately um, in uh, the Middle East uh, file. Uh, by the time uh, your uh, audience uh, sees this, um, he would have met with all the key players, uh, King Abdullah of, uh, of Jordan, uh, of course, and President Sisi, uh, and Prime Minister Netanyahu, and he would be um, having his last meeting with President Abbas. It means that he is uh, fully um, aware of the fact that U.S. Uh, engagement is needed. Um, and that uh, this is a, a key and um, a cornerstone uh, issue if we're going to bring about um, a regional uh, peace and stability and, by extension, global peace and security. In Yemen, for example, the administration uh, is helping allies without committing uh, troops on the ground, and it's doing some, some success so far in a very short time. Uh, in the Gulf Water, the administration is standing up to the... Uh, uh, to the Iranian uh, threats, and uh, we see it's, uh, you know, it's working. I guess it's the emotion that Donald Trump showed when uh, the chemical attack on Syrian civilians occurred on April 4, and uh, his reaction, uh, a principled reaction, really, because he was basically responding to a major humanitarian a violation of humanitarian law and coming to the rescue of Syrian civilians. What surprised me was the visa ban. The visa ban against a number of Muslim countries. After what happened behind September 11, it is ironic that Saudi Arabia was not included, but Iran was. Many things surprised me, not, not just a single thing. Uh, the executive order that banned uh, so many, uh, uh, that banned immigrants and travelers from the Middle East from nine or seven, I can't remember, I, I, th I thought it was seven countries, seven Muslim countries. That was very shocking to me. That changed the whole idea of, uh, of America, of the United States, of the, of, of the American dream. That was very shocking. I was surprised, and it was a very good surprise, to hear uh, President Trump speaking in this kind of dedication to peace between Israel and the Palestinians in an understanding that deal means uh, compromises by both sides. 